got my Spectrum USB program cable. This is the cable that you need to register all your Spectrum ABN Smart products to you. Transmitters, receivers, uh, just anything Smart Spectrum needs to be registered to you. So therefore, you can get all the updates and you can program them. There's a lot of things you can do with this USB program cable. USB-A into the computer or your tablet or what have you. You can get adapters and go from going USB to micro USB or to USB-C. Use your tablet and your phone and laptop, whatever. And then on the other side is a servo plug, which would plug into your in our case right now the receiver and we're going to register my new receiver to me because this is my new eFlight Extra 330 haven't flown it yet we're going to register it and then we're going to make sure that uh, the software is up to date and everything's on the up and up so you know anything that's smart can be registered to you and updated all your receivers all your uh, uh, satellite receivers, uh, uh, SRXL2 receivers, um, just lots of stuff has updates and can be registered to you. That's the only way you're going to take full advantage of what they have to offer. You know, let's say, heaven forbid, I crash this plane, I can take this uh, AR631 receiver out of it. I can use this program cable to completely put another plane into the receiver. Then the next plane I buy, I can buy a PNP, stands for plug and play. It comes with everything but the receiver. Then I can mount this receiver into another plane, exactly how the directions tell you to, how it's facing, etc. And then it's just like you bought a bind and fly airplane. You can do lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff with this USB program cable. So let's uh, register the receiver to me and see if it uh, is updated. All right, so we're going to register my receiver, my Spectrum Smart Receiver, register it to me in my Spectrum, where the list of my products are. That way I can get updates and, and upgrades, and I can program it, and I can do all kinds of stuff to your Smart Receiver. And I can unlock it and, you know, specially program it for something else if I want, or change planes and all kinds of stuff by using the Spectrum USB program cable and the Spectrum Programmer app on your home computer or your tablet, phone, whatever. We're going to use my computer. I'm going to plug in an extension. You plug, you go into the bind port. The bind port on the smart receivers or any of your updatable receivers is the bind. Bind program and the SRXL2 satellite receiver. And all be done in the bind plugs. So here we have an extension just to give us a little more work in the room and make room for the computer. And we're going to get this guy registered and updated and check it and stuff. Don't need that battery pack. We just got done checking to see if the smart uh, light avian speed control needs an update, and it did not. All right, I'm gonna pull up my Spectrum real quick and show you that this uh, receiver is not in my list of products that I have. So you would go to you know, SpectrumRC.com and you would log in. Then in the top right hand corner it says My Spectrum. You're gonna have to create another login for My Spectrum. This is where you have all your receivers and so on registered to you. So I'm going to go to my spectrum here. It's saying, okay, you know, you're leaving this website, going to another one. And I just logged in. I had to, had to mute it so you don't see my, my stuff. So here's my spectrum. This is a list of my products. You know, my DX7S transmitter, my DX9, the DXE, DXS, NX6, IX12. 636, 636, you know, 37, 37, 630, 631, 637, SRXL2 receiver, and so on. You get it. Now, we're going to 
leave this website open just like it is. We left the websites open. Now I'm going to pull up the Spectrum Programmer, which I have two icons for the Spectrum, the Updater and the Programmer. We're, we're going to pull up the Spectrum Programmer, double click. Now we're on the Spectrum Programmer. Now we're going to connect it to the airplane. We've got our plane in the background. We've got the extension that we plugged into the bind port of the smart receiver. And then we're going to plug in the USB program cable into our extension. You don't have to have an extension, but it just makes it a little easier for me right now. And then we got our USB portion of the Spectrum programmer. And we're going to plug it into the computer. Okay, I'm going to hit power cable top right hand corner now there's a big warning saying make sure you do not have a flight pack battery plugged into your plane because you don't need power going from the speed controller to your receiver and then send power to the receiver from your computer so this is the warning no no battery power cable it says you know the model settings on the device don't match those on the computer which ones do you want to use we want to use the device not my computer so i'm clicking on device so over here on the left say a software update we're going to click that guy and it says i need to log into my spectrum.com account and register this device to check for an update can't update it until they're registered to you so i'm going to go ahead and click check for update and here is registering my device it shows the serial number and it has a place for a nickname and i'm going to put in 330 and then register device. So now the 330 has the AR631 receiver and it is registered to me. So we have version, so my current software in the receiver is 2.46. Yep, 2. Point, can you see it? Yep, 2.46. And we have an online update at 2.48 is available. 2.48 might be the AIS 3X Plus. I don't want to do that. So let's, by clicking install another version, what do we have? So there's conversion firmware is what you'll need if you want to convert it to the Plus AR 631 2.48 was updated on January 16th of 2024. So that's the only ones available. And then down at the bottom it says what changes were done by adding this update instead of added forward programming option, to, uh, something for SRXL2 receiver. Added a patch to fix voltage calibration and all kinds of stuff. So we don't want to put in the plus. We're going to do lots of stuff with the as 3 x plus stuff, but just not right this second. Because once you change it to the plus version, you can't go back. So anyways, we're going to update it to the 2.48. For those of you that don't know, the AS3X Plus is like the next step up of the AS3X platform. The Plus is, you know, supposedly a whole lot better. It's got more uh, more options and so forth. But I say we all figure out the regular AS3X and the forward programming and, and get that down pat before we start doing other stuff. So, was successfully updated. Okie dokie and uh power of the cable or oh we're back to use the devices settings so we're going to leave it how it was no new software version is this time so we're going to power the cable now we'll go back to my spectrum and i'll just hit uh, refresh and let's try to find our ar631 that we nicknamed 330. here's 330 ar631 330. Let's click download updates just to look and see about the 
AS3X Plus. So the AS3X Plus is version 3.1.3. And here's the one we put in. So everything above this 2.4.0 has to do with the AS3X Plus. There is no going back to the 2.0 software. So once you go to 3, 3 point whatever, you're no going back to the 2s. If updating from version 2 point something, make sure to update first the conversion firmware. So if you wanted to go to the Asterix Plus, you know, the, the next platform up, you would first have to do the conversion firmware and then this one right here. All right, guys, moving right along with my uh, my new plane. Haven't flown it yet, so now we've got it updated and registered to me. Now I'm going to bind it, and uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, to flying. It's covered in polyacrylic. I've assembled it, glued in the rudder, uh, updated the, the speed control. We have uh, done everything we can do to it but fly it just about. So stay tuned. Hey, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. That's the best way to support me. Make sure that you're still subscribed. For some reason, people are being unsubscribed uh, by a ghost or something. I don't know. So, anyways, hey, like, share, 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 like, like, like some more. And, uh, hey, until next time, you'll see me here. Oh, 20,000 subscribers. We're going to do a three-jet giveaway. So, that's Uno, Dos, and Trace, Jets. Yep. All right, hey, adios.